Snipe, snipe, snipe squad, where it going? Oh, um, boy. I'm talking about oh, um, oh. Um. Back again, it is your boy, Sniper Jones Jones. And I am back with another video for your yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Happy Saturday to everybody who's watching, man. Shouts out to you guys for coming through, watching the channel. I appreciate it, as always. So, it is no surprise one of the most intriguing Yeezy 350 V2s are dropping today, and that is the Yeezy V2 Clay. Now, if y'all remember my video when these shoes first started dropping, or when there was rumors about this, the hyperspace, and I believe the other one's called the True Form. I was telling you guys that this clay was definitely one that was on my list and I was going for it completely. Now I do drop how to cop videos and I try my best to show you guys how to pick up sneakers and as you can see, man, your boy Snipe, hey, look, I got another one, so trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So for all you guys who don't watch those how to cop videos and you taking L's, man, look, hey, look, Listen, it's always something you can learn, man. It's always something. So just look forward to that. Let me not go wood or something before, you know what I'm saying? I'm I not hit again. But anyways, guys, today, man, we're going to go and pick up these pairs. Now, I'll hit at a mall, South Lake Mall. I've never, I think I won like one pair of sneakers from South Lake Mall before, and I think that was, I think my Sesame Easy V2. Now, like I said, I'm not sure the availability of this sneaker, but I know for sure it was definitely not the usual at least not for me, it wasn't the usual store line up for whenever I was picking my shoe. If you guys know how the apps is, it's like basically the apps go in order around like surrounding stores by your area, and depending on that, they kind of give you an idea of where you can pick up your shoe once you choose it. Now the problem was the stores that picked up for me was stores super, super far out or just stores that's random, like stores I've never even seen on my list before, which I thought indicated that these would be kind of limited, but I'm hearing they kind of fairly in the amount. They kind of fair in the amount. Now I don't know that for sure. But yes, guys, we have a full day today. I cannot wait to bring these shoes back to the crib, put them in my collection. The V2s is getting crazy, man. Like, the V2s is definitely getting crazy. I got, man, a lot, okay? I got a lot of V2s. And even though the 700 is kind of pushing its way through and kind of holding up the Yeezy brand for sure, listen, this is definitely a 350 that cannot be slept on, man. So without further ado, let's get up, let's get out, and let's get these sneakers. Now, before we head out, man, I have to ask you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Come on, bro. That's on dog. We are still grinding, trying to hit 100,000 subs by the end of the year, 25K by May. We like this close to 20,000. So if you're watching this video and you're not subbed, at least help me to get to 20K, bro. Come on, bro. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those will be linked down below in the description of the video. And if you still don't know what it looked like i will run it through the screen right about now head over there give me a follow and let me know you came from the video let me know you're the snap squad man all right now we can finally leave so you know we can get the shoes Okay, so yo, check this out, man. What I realized I haven't been doing lately that I used to do a lot, is just motivate the audience, just motivate the people that watch. Now for all y'all who've been watching your boy Snipe for a while, man, it was this neighborhood I used to go to all the time. I would just sit in front of that neighborhood and I would just, you know, think things into existence. I would be like, yo, hold, hold on, why is that bag matching my shirt exactly? That's kind of ticking me off. Anyways, man, uh, I would just go to that neighborhood and I would just sit back and I would think about you know, just thinking things into existence, man. Pushing myself, wanting to go further, asking more than I even think I'm capable of. That's like one of my biggest problems. I'm very hard on myself. Y'all have no idea. But what I wanted to tell you guys, man, is because I know a lot of people out there, man, it's a lot of people that watch my content. And having this platform is bigger than just buying sneakers, and I understand that completely. At the end of the day, man, like you never know what people are going through. You never know what people need to hear. And you don't know if they're here in their day to day. I just want to tell y'all, man, like, bro, I'm telling you. Whatever you want to do, man, I swear it's, it's, it's possible, bro. And I know I sound like an infomercial right now. I know a lot of y'all like, Snipe, what are you even talking about? But honestly, man, going out through life, whenever you're striving for something like very, very hard, whenever you're striving for something that's worth having, it is so tough, bro. You doubt yourself. You don't You don't think you're, you're, you're ready. You look around a lot and see other people succeeding in ways you want to succeed, so you kind of hold your your level of success to theirs. That's the biggest problem we can ever create, man. Like, everybody has their own path. Everybody got their own race, you know what I'm saying? So before I get freaking pulled over for vlogging and driving, I just want to tell y'all, do not look around, bro. Do not look around and see what he's doing, what she's doing. 
you gotta have that you gotta have that tunnel vision man you gotta just know what you're doing have a plan and execute it as much as you possibly can now, once again it's not gonna be easy especially if you're striving for something very tough but at the end of the day man it's possible so i just challenge y'all to go after what you want and just don't give up bro don't give up all right guys we are here at south lake mall man now anytime i get here at a mall super early like the store opened at 10 Right now it's like 10.30, so anytime I get super early, I automatically think that people that's here this early is here to pick up their sneakers. Because it's not a lot of people, it's only a few people, but we all know that everybody's trying to get their sneakers in and out. Now, I hit at the foot action here at South Lake Mall. I really am not familiar how they feel about vloggers coming and vlogging. I've been in this mall like only a few times. I don't really know the policy. Usually, the stores I usually hit at, I already know if I can vlog. I know if I got to kind of hide the camera. I know if I got to put it up because all stores aren't cool with the whole vlogging thing. So I guess I'm gonna just have to play it by ear when we walk inside this foot action, bro, because I literally have no idea what's about to go down. By the way, guys, I had this dope photo shoot last night. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you need to head over there. Follow me on Instagram. I got some fire pigs dropping tonight that you have to see. So go ahead and give me a follow. Look how empty this mall is, bro. I'm like the, the what? The three times I came to this mall, it was never this empty. You know, it's not even in the morning time. Soon as this mall usually opened up, it's usually packed. You usually see people here at 10 o'clock on a dot. And I kind of forgot where the foot action was, so I gotta ask around where the foot action is, bro. So that took like a quick little 15 minutes for me to find it, but look, I found it now. So so we on the way, all right? We on the way. I don't know why I got like a deep fear of escalators, bro. I just feel like my legs don't give out at any time. So we all know that the Jordan 1s dropped today and them Tinker 3s dropped today. The Jordan 1s and Tinker 3s, I'm not big on like that. I'm not even going to hold you. However, I am still planning on getting reviews for y'all, so if y'all want to see those, please comment down below in the comment section because I'm a big advocate of, I don't have to like every sneaker I show y'all. I'm showing it for y'all. I'm not always showing it for me. Alright guys, we in the store about to pick them up right about now and your boy Joan Jones is feeling good, man. I still think that this V2 is dope. I still like this more out of all the other ones in the pack. Now they finally in my hands. I'm going to turn this camera off because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me a number, but... Thank you. Top three, if not number one, the smoothest pickup of all time. Moving no line. I didn't have to wait for like five people to go back and look for my size. It was just, hey, I'm here for the 12. I got the 12. Now it's time to go back to the crib. By the way it was looking, I know it's kind of early. Like I said, I know the store don't open at 10. I got here early so I can get the video out early. But still, man, I really don't feel like it was a lot of people, at least at that store, going for this shoe. So it's going to be kind of surprising to see if it was limited or to see if people was actually wanting it or not. Because by the first look, you know what I'm saying, I ain't going to hold you. You know, it ain't really look like people was on it on it. But, I mean, you still got until 3 o'clock to pick them up, so you got some time left. All right, guys, as y'all can see, sneaker is picked up. Now the next step is just to go back to the crib. I'm basically show y'all a little quick overall review and see if I'm feeling these because of course, as always, I never really unbox the shoe in the whip. I wait till I get back home in the studio and I let y'all know how I feel about them in hand. Cause there's a big difference between how I shoe look on picture, on foot, and actually in hand. So I will see y'all back at the crib. Woo! Okay, finally back home, finally back at the crib. Man, okay, a lot of running around to do that store. That mall was not very close, but either way it go, we still came back with the W. You know what I mean? Now listen, a lot of you guys were tagging me on Instagram, asked me was I picking these up. I don't mean to ignore people, but if I'm telling you I'm picking them up, would you still watch the video? So, to the bag, okay? Now, like I said, we all know I got this from Foot Action. And as I said in the car, man, I don't like to actually, you know, show these off until I get back here at the crib. So, we're going to take a look at these together. Now, regular 350 boost boxes, no need to talk about that. Size 12 gang, y'all already know how we rep it. Now, Adidas, I'm really hoping that this shoe is actually pretty dope because y'all kind of need something. The 350 GO did not really do as well as projected. Now the human races aren't doing that well. The 350s are actually pretty much dying at this point, man. I mean, the hyperspace are going for like 400. The true forms are going for like 400, but only because those were like exclusive to certain countries. And this pair is the North America pair, so I doubt these be going for as much as those, to be completely honest. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back. We're gonna check it out together. And I, uh, here we have it. So here is your Yeezy Boost 350 V2 
clay. Let me drop the box real quick, get a nice overall. I ain't mean to drop it like that. Okay, so, cool, okay. What I can honestly say about this right off the top is summertime is coming, okay? This is definitely 100% a summertime shoe. Now, looking at this shoe, it's a lot darker than I immediately expected. I thought it'd be a little bit lighter from pictures that I've seen. I do like how the heel tab is a little bit, well, a lot lighter than the actual shoe. If y'all don't know where this colorway come from, especially, I moved down here in Georgia like a few years ago. Well, actually, five years ago. And I didn't know what red clay was or just what clay was because we don't have that in Cleveland. It's not really an up north thing. But down here in the country, there's red clay everywhere. And it looks just like this. And it's really like some of the hardest stuff to ever get out your shoes. It's, man, it's like the hardest stuff to clean off, period. It's like a nasty, nasty color. And that's what I can say about Kanye is he always go against the grain with his colorways. You can look at any of his colorways, whether it's semi-frozen, uh, blue tint, beluga gray. I mean, beluga orange, I'm sorry. But it's never like an actual, you know, like a royal blue and white or like a varsity red and white. It's always something against the grain. His colorways are always very, very introspective. So I'm not surprised he chose to come up with this pair. Um, Y'all know that I usually do like the full review and like the full on foot video separately, but I still wanted to bring these and see how they look in the studio under these lights. Now, honestly, my resale price for these are probably going to be around like $380. I think they're going to be a little bit cheaper than the actual ones that dropped overseas. I don't know, man. I know people overseas, they really do control the market, but I really believe like the U.S., like we control the market the most. So by that, since this was a U.S. pair, I don't really feel like the market is going to be really reaching for it as much as they're reaching out for the other pairs. However, man, I probably am going to pass on the other two pairs. Man, I didn't never like the True Form. I did really like the Hyperspace. I've seen those. I don't know. 400 plus, man. I could be getting something else for 400 plus. Think about it. 400 plus dollars. It's a lot of other grails out there. I'd rather cop than another Yeezy V2. I have so many already. Anyways, guys, here you have it. This is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Clay. Please let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment section. Did you pick these up? Did you pass? And tell me why. I will be going through all the comments, reading them, and responding because today I'm not doing nothing after making this video. I'm finally free. Make sure you guys head over to my IG. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to get my Twitter popping. My Twitter is very weak. I need y'all help with that. I can't do it alone. Y'all know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but who really putting in that work though snipe squad i love y'all dream big